Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, we'll see the another cellular concept used in wireless systems. That is, we have the channel assignment strategies. So uh, we have already seen what does the frequency reuse technique does. And so uh, we have the advantages of uh, it saving the bandwidth and all. So uh, moreover, uh, frequency spectrum is used to properly utilize the radio spectrum which you have and then it increases the radio capacity as well as it eliminates or reduces the uh, interference as much as possible. Uh, now when you uh, see the frequency reuse diagram or the honeycomb structure which I uh, showed so in that you can see many many cells you have uh, you had seven different cells and you had uh, base stations and all and you have some kind of channels and frequencies allocated so how those channels are assigned and what are the different strategies for that allocation that we'll be covering in this uh, video lecture so let's begin so we have two channel assignment strategies basically so we have the very first one that is we have the fixed channel assignment strategy so uh, we have in this every single cell uh, like in the channel uh, diagram in the honeycomb structure we have one two three four five six seven like that every single cell is assigned a fixed set of voice channels means like for example uh, cell 1 is assigned 4 channels or uh, cell 3 is assigned 17 channels and uh, cell 5 is assigned 20 channels so it depends there is no uh, dynamic allocation but it's fixed currently uh, like this channel will be having this much kind of channels and so uh, whenever for example like we people call or when we make a call to some other person our call is being routed through the system and so uh, it checks whether that channel is unused or not. So uh, if it is unused, if it is yes, then the call is attended by the other user or the person to whom we are calling and if it is not so, then the call is blocked and thereby it is left unattended. Now in this scenario, uh, we cannot leave the call in an inconsistent state because every call is uh, very important and so we have this strategy for this fixed technique that is we have the borrowing strategy so borrowing strategy what it does is basically handles this above scenario uh, if there is no uh, unused channel left so what it does it borrows the required channels from the neighboring cell which it has like channel 1 if it uh, does not or if it cannot serve the uh, request then what it does it allocates uh, the channels from the uh, third cell or from the fourth cell which is thereby uh, to its neighbor so uh, the cell accepting the channel are called as the acceptor cells and the cell that gives away or the cell that lends away the channels are called as the donor cell. Now uh, you can see there is a considerable amount of tedious activity and the time which is there in assignment and uh, giving away and then you have to use. So uh, this technique is not user friendly and so we uh, do not adopt this strategy for channel assignment. Instead we have what we call as the dynamic channel assignment strategy. So uh, here in this you have no permanent voice channel allocation like here we have the fixed single uh, cell channel assignment and it is based on increased traffic requirement. So it's a dynamic request as and when the requirement is there uh, we assign the channels like uh, in case of this video like as and when uh, my requirement uh, increases from the subscribers for this particular topic I begin to make videos. So a uh, similar kind of uh, setup is there or strategy is there. So uh, it is seen that if there is an increased traffic, then more channels are assigned. And if there is low traffic, then less channels are assigned. It's simple as that. So uh, whenever in this case, uh, a user calls, whenever we call or you call. So uh, the base station, actually the BS, sends a request to the mobile switching center that is the MSC. So it facilitates the communication between the base station and the mobile user. And so it assigns the channel. So the actual work which is done by the MSC is channel assignment in this strategy. So it is based on the need of the cell. So as and when it is required dynamic allocation or dynamic uh, request is there. Uh, then this technique or this strategy is adopted. Now uh, why this MSC come into this picture. So basically what MSC does is it has two functions. So it basically uh, supervises or it does the supervision of all this channel assignment strategies that is yes and it ensures mainly ensures that there is no absolute disturbance when a call is in progress like whenever we call or uh, whenever you make a call what happens is like uh, due to the uh, radio coverage which is not there that much uh, 
the voice may be breaking or you cannot hear the person's voice or it may be in a, a low frequency so uh, that thing is taken care by this msc so uh, that is where the msc comes into picture uh, in this scenario so well that was all regarding the channel assignment strategies in uh, some cellular concept so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you found got educated by watching this video please do like share comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching this video